Hello everyone, I hope you're having a good day. Um, I'm going to do a review video of one of my favorite pair of Fluvogs. They are, when I, when I think of them, I think of the word dreamy, which I totally think these shoes are dreamy. So, let me bring them into the frame. And here are a pair of Enneagram Investigators. So I don't know if I pronounced that right because I haven't I've never heard that word before a neogram. So I'm hoping for the best. So these are made in Portugal. This pair is a size 10 and a half. They have a two-inch heel on them. They fit normal width, not narrow and not wide. Um, but they do run short, I believe. So they do say if you're a size seven and above to go up a size or half a size anyway. So these ones currently in the fall of 2018 run about $420 Canadian. You add tax on there, you're looking, I don't know, 460, 70, I think. That well, could be more than that. I don't have my calculator on me. But there, are, these are a pricey pair of shoes. But again, I say they are, they're almost like fantasy shoes to me. And, and again, very dreamy. I find the design on them to be absolutely fabulous. So they come in, they have a yellow, the yellow cuff here at the top with a suede, looks like a suede, just a very soft underneath, very, very soft leathers, as you can see, soft everywhere. So this is, this is, I think they call this purple, but I think of this more myself as a blue, like a lavender blue. And I don't know if this part down here is black or, or a very dark navy. I'm not quite sure. It looks to me black, but I don't know. I, I can't be sure. Then it has what these, these would be the purple ribbons, which are velvet. Very soft and a very nice touch. And again, these are 10.5. These are made in Portugal. Now, usually I run a size 9.5 to a 10.5 in Fluvogs, this being the largest Fluvog I own. Um, 9.5s, 50%, 10s, another 50%. This one's kind of just out there in, in the wild. I actually got a 10.5 in these only because this pair is my very first pair of investigators and I bought them used off the flu market. Now they'd only been worn once. The seller told me that uh, she'd only worn them one time and they when I first got them they looked like it I've worn them probably six or seven times now I I got them for three hundred dollars which was significantly better than the four hundred plus for almost almost five hundred they were new they would have been new so and I they were the only the size obviously that she had was a 10.5 so I thought oh I'll take a take a risk and hopefully they'll fit if not I'll have to sell them but these ones, they're very roomy for me, I but very comfortable. I wear a pair of socks with them. I always wear socks with them, and they fit incredibly comfortable. These shoes are very comfortable during the day. Um, the heel is there, but it's not painful. It's only two inches. It's I can wear these shoes all day long without any issues. They do have the rubber sole. Um, I think it's a purple color rubber, rubber sole with a neogram. Um, little uh i don't know metal there i guess or whatever it's called um and there's the yellow sole um it does say on the bottom here be true no sorry be your true self john fluvog sorry this is not a metal i don't know what you'd call this but uh the stamp the stamp maybe is on a lot of the uh the style of shoe um you can see the collar there. It's got the white stitching that goes around, goes around the front part of the shoe and it comes around the back. There's the John Fluvog signature. These are not to be worn, obviously, in the hardcore winter months like we have here in Canada. I probably won't wear these as the winter approaches unless we have a very, very mild day. Um, they, I, I get, I get compliments on these ones. And there's Chewy Gumdell. My little plug. Hi, Chewy. You help me out. You're a good girl, aren't you? So I get a lot of compliments on these shoes. I get a lot of compliments, so I'm gonna put it right up there on all the flu vlogs I own. But this pair, for some reason, I get compliments mostly from guys. Guys really dig these shoes. 
and mm. I get I've been told they look like they're cart they almost look like they're, they're like they're right from a cartoon, and they do look it. They're very whimsical. What that's a, an excellent word for them is whimsical. You can imagine almost being a young perky detective in the what twenties or thirties wearing these shoes. Um, they make me feel very special when I wear them. How many times can you own a pair of shoes that make you feel special? Not very often. These shoes evoke a lot of feeling. Um, you know, it's, you have to grab happiness where you can in life. And these shoes provide that little touch of happiness. All you have to do is you wear them. You, you know nobody else pretty well in your whole area is wearing anything like them. They make you feel special. Um, they make you feel happy. They make me feel confident. And again, how many pairs of shoes can evoke that kind of emotion? When John designed these ones, he did a stellar job. I have two other pairs of these shoes. Um, and I'm going to do reviews of those too also but the, these ones are my favorite the very first ones I got and just my favorite colorway they do look like they they come out from a cartoon uh, they do look like they're almost an anime kind of shoe very bold and bright and, and saucy and sassy um, they wear very well again they're comfortable they're not very they're not constricting on me they're ankle boots so they do go up to the ankle I'm a larger girl and I have a like you know my ankles aren't teeny weeny but my ankles aren't huge either um, but they're very comfortable so far I've worn them with a dress I think and I've worn them with skinny jeans and they fit well with those I'm still trying to find the ideal outfit to wear them with I and had this I've been trying for a while now I don't know they just I just look at them and and admire them constantly Pardon any noise in the background. That's my dogs fighting over a bone. Fighting slash playing, I mean. Um, so I give these these shoes a total thumbs up. Uh, again, dreamy, dreamy John Fluvog shoes. Probably the dreamiest ones that I've ever worn or purchased from him. I own about mm, 30 pairs of Fluvogs. And these are the most whimsical of them all. So I hope you enjoyed my review. I will review the other two pairs I have just so you can see them, these style of shoe in a different colorway. And um, I hope you have a good night and I'll talk to you soon. Bye-bye.